The Jurassic Park franchise is more than just a series of movies. It's a cultural touchstone that redefines cinematic storytelling and visual effects. Starting with the release of Jurassic Park in 1993, Steven Spielberg not only captivated audiences, but also pushed the boundaries of what was possible in film. The sight of a T-Rex roaring in the rain, the gentle yet massive Brachiosaurus grazing, and the terrifying Velociraptors hunting in packs are images that have become iconic, etched into the minds of millions. But as with many pioneering works, sustaining that initial magic proved challenging as the series progressed. The journey from the heights of Jurassic Park to the mixed reception of Jurassic World and its sequels is a story of ambition, nostalgia, and the complexities of reviving a beloved franchise. When Jurassic Park hit theaters, it was nothing short of a revolution in filmmaking. Spielberg, already a master of suspense and adventure, utilized cutting-edge CGI and animatronics to bring dinosaurs to life in a way that had never been seen before. The film's groundbreaking effects, combined with its intense yet awe-inspiring narrative, set a new standard for blockbuster cinema. But beyond the visual spectacle, Jurassic Park was a film rich with themes that resonated deeply with audiences. The dangers of scientific hubris, the ethical dilemmas of genetic engineering, and the unpredictable power of nature. The film's success wasn't just measured in box office numbers. Though it did break records, it was also evident in its lasting influence on popular culture. Jurassic Park spawned a plethora of merchandise, video games, novels, and even theme park rides, ensuring that the franchise would live on in the public consciousness for decades. Despite the monumental success of Jurassic Park, the sequels that followed struggled to live up to the original's legacy. The Lost World, Jurassic Park tried to expand the universe with a darker tone and more dinosaurs, but it lacked the tight, character-driven narrative that made the first film so compelling. By the time Jurassic Park 3 was released, it was clear that the franchise was grappling with its identity. The third installment was more of a straightforward action film, with a focus on dinosaur encounters and survival. While it had its moments of tension and excitement, it was largely seen as a retread of old ideas, with little new to offer in terms of story or character development. The film's mixed reception and lower box office performance suggested that perhaps the franchise had run its course. For over a decade, the Jurassic franchise lay dormant, with no new films on the horizon. During this time, the original Jurassic Park continued to be celebrated as a classic, while the sequels faded somewhat into obscurity. However, in 2015, the franchise was revived with Jurassic World, a film that promised to reintroduce the magic of dinosaurs to a new generation. A little shy, so be nice Jack. and give her a hand when she comes out. Jack. Jurassic World, directed by Colin Trevorrow, was a bold attempt to update the franchise for modern audiences. The film's premise, a fully operational dinosaur theme park, was both a nod to the original and a commentary on the dangers of commercializing and exploiting nature. The park's new attraction, the genetically engineered Indominus Rex, was a symbol of humanity's insatiable desire to control and outdo nature, even at the cost of creating something monstrous. The film was a massive commercial success, becoming one of the highest grossing films of all time. However, it was also a polarizing entry in the series. While some fans and critics praised its thrilling action sequences, impressive visual effects, and nostalgic callbacks to the original, others felt it relied too heavily on spectacle over substance. The characters, particularly the leads played by Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard, were seen by some as underdeveloped, and the film's themes, while present, were not as deeply explored as in Jurassic Park. Following the success of Jurassic World, the franchise continued with Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and Jurassic World Dominion. These films attempted to take the story in new directions, introducing elements of horror, ethical dilemmas, 
and even the idea of dinosaurs living alongside humans in the modern world. Yet, despite these ambitious ideas, both films struggle to resonate with audiences and critics alike. This is one of the largest armored dinosaurs, known by paleontologists as a living tank. Fallen Kingdom was particularly divisive, with its plot centering around the rescue of dinosaurs from an erupting volcano and the subsequent auctioning of these creatures to the highest bidder. The film's darker tone and shift towards a more horror-oriented style were bold choices, but they didn't quite land with everyone. The narrative was seen as convoluted, and the introduction of yet another genetically engineered dinosaur, the Indoraptor, felt like a rehash of ideas from the previous film. Just like Blue, Charlotte was able to have a child all by herself. She created you with her own DNA. By the time Jurassic World, Dominion was released, the franchise's problems had become more apparent. Intended as the grand conclusion to both the original trilogy and the new series, Dominion was a sprawling, overstuffed film that tried to do too much at once. It brought back beloved characters from the original trilogy, such as Dr. Alan Grant, Dr. Ellie Sattler, and Dr. Ian Malcolm, in an attempt to appeal to longtime fans. However, their inclusion felt more like fan service than a natural continuation of their stories. The film's plot, which involved a global crisis caused by genetically engineered locusts, was widely criticized for being confusing and unfocused. The dinosaurs, once the stars of the show, often felt like secondary characters in a story that was more concerned with tying up loose ends and setting up future installments. Fans were left disappointed, feeling that the film had strayed too far from the core elements that made Jurassic Park special, namely, the awe and terror of encountering dinosaurs in a world that wasn't ready for them. Now, with the announcement of Jurassic World Rebirth, the franchise stands at a crucial juncture. This new installment has the potential to either breathe new life into the series or continue the downward trend that began with the later Jurassic World films. But what exactly can we expect from Rebirth? There are many questions surrounding this new film. Will it return to the franchise's roots, focusing on the ethical and existential questions that the original Jurassic Park raised? Will it explore new themes and ideas, offering something fresh and unexpected? Or will it double down on the spectacle and action, delivering more of the same formula that has become increasingly tired? Ultimately, the future of the franchise will depend on the filmmaker's ability to recapture the wonder, terror, and thematic richness that made Jurassic Park a classic. Whether they succeed or not, the impact of Jurassic Park on cinema and popular culture is undeniable, and its legacy will continue to influence and inspire for generations to come. What are your thoughts on the future of the Jurassic franchise? Do you think Jurassic World Rebirth will bring something new to the table, or are we in for more of the same? Let me know in the comments below, and I will see you in the next one.